Hello Libras, welcome to your weekly love reading for the month of June. If you are a Libra, someone rising or Venus, this reading is for you. If you're on the cusp of a Scorpio or a Virgo, watch their videos to see if they also resonate with you. These are very general. Um, if you would like your own private reading from me, all my links are down below in the description box. Okay, so I'm doing, um, I'm doing singles involved and committed, okay? So let's start with singles. Um, if you are a single Libra, um, I drew the card, the stars and the house. Okay. So the stars is like that card of wishing, uh, daydreaming, putting a lot of trust into something or someone. Um, a lot of times the stars is about uh, like, uh, uh, making connections, connecting with a lot of people. It's usually another card that, that represents, um, like online, like the internet. Okay. And, um, the house is like wanting to be like secure, wanting to be in your comfort zone, home, family. So I feel like a lot of you this week is really wishing to start a family or wishing to find a stable partner or just, just kind of daydreaming about what kind of love life you want in general or maybe the next person. You, you kind of just want stability, right? That's what the house is about. Um, but I feel like some of you are more concerned about creating your own stability first before getting into a relationship. I believe I saw something like that in Virgo's reading yesterday. Um, I could be off on that. I forgot some of the readings I did yesterday, but I believe Virgo was, I forgot, but I think there was something I said about that, like them wanting to stay single in the single. So if you are on the cusp of a Virgo, watch their video for sure. Um, so yeah, just wanting to be, some of you are like, I don't want to find a relationship or I just don't want to date anyone until I have more stability. Um, here's what I'm also picking up. Someone's kind of, um, how do I put this? The stars is not a card of lying. It's not the trickster card like the fox can sometimes be, but the stars can sometimes represent an illusion. Okay. Just like the moon can a little bit. <laughs> so you might meet someone that kind of says they're stable. Um, it's not, how do I put this though? Again, the stars is not that line card. And the fox, by the way, is not just a card of line or theft or, or suspicion, but the fox is usually that kind of card. But again, the stars can have that, <sighs> fake it till you make it, I guess the illusion of stability and um, not that this is bad, but because some of you literally might be manifesting like, Hey, everything's okay. You know, again, I I've talked about this in my videos. If you follow the law of assumption, that's kind of how you make your reality happen by ignoring your current reality. I know it kind of sounds stupid. Like some people are like, well, that's just being in denial of your reality. Yes, but that's really how manifestation works. <laughs> I've seen it proof with my own eyes. Okay. Um, you have to pretend that it's already happening. You have to live in the end. So I'm, so that's what I mean. It, it could be somebody that, or maybe you are presenting yourself as stable, even if you're not right, even if you're not yet, and that's okay. You're still working at it, but you're putting on this, maybe it's not a fake card though. That, that's what I want to say. It's not like the Fox it. here I go again, but part of me wants to kind of lean towards that just a little bit. It's either you or the person that you meet. If you do meet someone, <clears throat> here's what I also get. I'm sort of seeing this as keeping what you wish private. Huh? Like not wanting to tell someone your plans. Okay. Um, and you know what? That's fine too, because you, I don't know if you guys have heard that. I've heard that, that, um, that saying before, don't tell people all your, your plans that you have for success because they're likely to maybe be jealous or talk you out of it. It's better to keep quiet about it. So you, so that way you don't get any distractions, right? Um, so maybe this could be that someone here, here's what, here's what it might mean. Even though I'm not getting any other cards about a specific person in mind, like I don't have the writer here. I don't have the child here. I don't know. It's not really a specific person showing up here. There's no man or woman card here, but I, w I will say this. It's like someone 
if you do meet someone, they're kind of keeping quiet about things or they're wishing to keep something quiet or maybe there's something about you that wants to keep quiet about not, it's like when you, if you meet someone this week, you don't want them to know all of your life and that's fine. You're, you're sticking to being very private this week or that they are, or you kind of, for some of you, this could be, I, I want to kind of lean also towards wanting to remain a mystery. And usually I don't say that unless I have the book card here. So I'm kind of wondering why I'm seeing that. That's what I'm, that's the kind of energy I'm also picking up with the stars in the house is that I want to remain mysterious to this person or they do to you. Okay. Or trying to keep like a conservative approach when connecting with others this week. Maybe that's what it is. So a lot of you will be trying to keep very um, humble or conservative when it comes to meeting new people, if you happen to meet new people this week. And also, you know, like I said, the stars can be multiple people. The stars and the fish are both those cards that are about a lot of something. And so it could be a lot of people, right? And we do have the fish in your reading, even though this is for um, committed couples. But when I read the collective message at the end, maybe that's gonna somewhat resonate for you because we do, again, have two cards that represent lots and lots of people. But, so that's the thing. So some of you are maybe conflicted between wanting to go out and meet tons of people or connect with a lot of people online or wherever, wherever. And part of you, the other half of you wants to remain private and in and, and your bubble and your comfort zone. Like, oh, I kind of just, I kind of just want to be home this week. I don't really want to meet and go out with anyone. So there's that uh, even though they're both they're both good together so this isn't bad necessarily but sometimes the house is that private card conservative um your comfort zone wanting wanting things to be low risk and the stars isn't risky but it's that card of getting out there and connecting with people right <laughs> so that's why i'm kind of seeing a little bit of a country you know like a conflicting issue there one other, one other message i'm getting if you're single some of you my, or the person you're dealing with, if you meet someone, it's like having a specific, um, idealistic view about plans that you have for your love life or the kind of person you have in mind. Some of you might, uh, like have, don't take this the wrong way. I might piss some people off, but I'm going to say this. Some of you might have those rose colored glasses about your expectations, um, or, you might meet someone who does. But again, the stars and house isn't really bad together, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, overall though, the stars and house can be manifesting a happy future, like a happy marriage, a happy home, okay? So you might just be working, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are just imagining, envisioning what you want out of a relationship and what, you, what, what everyone's usual um, goal is. <laughs> is stability like a stable relationship not everybody wants to be in a committed relationship and that's okay too but a lot of you this is showing that okay so let's go to um involved so if you are uh, involved with someone where they're in and out of your life yet not yet not yet committed with this person i pulled the tower and the bouquet for you so the tower is that card of um <sighs> feeling alone, separation, isolation, rejection, kind of like not wanting to deal with anyone, kind of want your own space. And then we have the bouquet. So the bouquet is that invitation, flirtation, compliments. It's like that. I usually use this card as like going on a date with someone, someone's offering you something um, or, or, you know, like I said, a lot of flirting. It's, it's all about fashion too, beauty, fashion. So if you're involved, I feel like there's an issue with wanting attention from your person, but you're not getting it from them. It, it, okay, I'm gonna, here's, here's one storyline. So like I said, there's, you're trying to get attention from this person, but you're not getting it in return because someone's pushing you away. It, these are just weekly readings. Okay, this is not forever. Or you do this to, or someone takes it the wrong way. Like you just wanna spend time with yourself, you know? But they're thinking, well, why don't you wanna hang out with me this week, okay? So they might feel this way about you. Um, but it could be a rejection of a date. Like, like I said, you're involved, but you're not quite committed yet. So there could be somebody that's interested in you and you're just not interested in them. Or again, like I said, it could just be that you don't have time or you just have other things to do. Cause there's this like one person wants to go out. It, it could be you. There could be conflicts between, well, I do want to go out with this person or go out with them and hang out with friends or something. But part of me just wants to stay home. And that's interesting to me because I saw a little bit of that here if you're single. 
Um, so you, some of you may want time alone this week to work on yourself or you know what, even pampering yourself because again, the, um, the bouquet card can be about image fashion, like wanting to take bubble baths, wanting to get a new haircut, getting your nails done or getting your hair, you know, barbershop, doesn't matter. Or just wanting to redecorate your house. <laughs> you know, I've got stuff to do, but it's like creative stuff. Maybe you have a, you, you make jewelry or something like that. You just want to kind of tap into that creative side. You know, you don't really have time for love right now. Although again, this is a good card for love. It's, it's more like the, you know, bouquet. It's like an offering, a lot of suitors. And you know, maybe that's what some of it is. Ooh, okay. So if you're involved, for some of you, although this is not really shown a new person, but someone might try. To, okay, so let's say you're kind of involved with someone, but someone else comes in the picture and you turn them down because you already have, or you're hoping. Mm. Okay, so let me finish. I know I always have a habit of doing that. I'm very sorry. So you're hoping that. <clears throat> Like even if some of you obviously are not with the person yet, but someone else might be interested, but you turn them down because you keep, well, maybe that guy's gonna go out with me or call me so we can hang out this week. So I don't wanna say yes to him. This is just an example, could be a woman too, could be the opposite. But I don't wanna say yes to him because I'm waiting on this guy. But on the other on the other hand, some of you might give in and go out with this person out of loneliness because you're waiting on the other person or that guy or that girl, doesn't matter, but yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's definitely a turning down of an invitation for some of you, like I saw earlier. Um, so there could be some, something with getting stood up or, <clears throat> or not accepting a gift. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Not accepting a gift. I forgot about that because the bouquet is gift giving. Um, maybe somebody wants to take you out, take you out to eat, to, you know, that's a form of giving you something, right? It doesn't always have to be something wrapped in a box, you know? But still, uh, this is also, I forgot to mention, um, another message here is not accepting compliments or flirtation from this person. Some of you might be a little bit pissed off at this person. I don't know what they did. The tower is not like, it, it, it's not like the best card, but for love, it is usually like someone has their walls up, definitely. And this is like someone wanting to offer. So either someone gets mad because someone didn't take their offer or vice versa, okay? Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, so another message with the tower and the bouquet is kissing someone's ass or they kiss yours or like some kind of bribing or blackmail going on. Um, again, there's only two cards, so I can't say too many details, but that's there's a lot of details with just, I mean, I can read cards with just one card. <laughs> I like to pull a little bit less. It's just easier for me, but yeah, you can, it could, that's one of the meanings with the tower and the bouquet is bribing blackmail or just being nice to someone just to get something from them. But I feel like more it's, it's because someone feels pissed off. Like, it's not like you don't want to be with this person, but you also want them to acknowledge that you're pissed off about what they, you want them to, uh, you want them to acknowledge what they did. And you know, that's a lot of people, I'm going to throw this in. That's usually what it is. A lot of people don't just want to give up on someone. They're mad because they want that per that they feel like that person didn't realize what they've done. That's what they want. They want them to acknowledge what they've done so that it doesn't happen happen again, but some people don't even give a shit. Okay. Um, and that's what causes the defense mode and the, you know what, we'll stay away from me then. I'm not going to spend time with you this week. How about that? How about that? Right? Yeah. All right. Let's go to committed. <clears throat> Wait, do I have anything else with that one? Yeah, I will. Well, I mean, if there is a plan to see someone, it may not happen or go as planned. I will say that. So it doesn't mean there's a breakup or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. The tower sometimes is a separation though, but for, for the, I feel like someone just might not be able to show up. I did mention someone might get stood up. That's only going to resonate for a few of you. Probably like they can't make it or they call you last minute and say, sorry, I can't hang out with you this week, whatever. Um, anyway, let's go to committed. So we have the fish in the, um, the clouds. So the fish is like that money card, work card, a lot of something, right? A lot of people, a lot of fish in the sea, but the clouds is like that confusion, despair, um, needing clarity, but doesn't have it yet. So, <sighs> This is exactly what I'm hearing all of a sudden. Where did the money go? Where did the money go? Now, if you're married, yeah, there's always some issues with them. Um... <laughs> I'm not seeing money loss, but I feel like like someone's asking their partner, like, where did this $50 go? What did you do with it? 
you know, I, I understand, you know, when you're with someone for a long time, you're always, everyone disagrees about money sometimes, right? It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, just there's always something about money, right? We, we have to admit that. That's kind of what I'm seeing here, uh, so it's, but I'm hearing the words, where did the money go? <laughs> Show me the money. Maybe it's that too. Um, so someone, if you are committed or you don't have to be married, but even if you're committed or live or married, living together, uh, so that, that's, here's another message. Like someone might, might be hiding money. This is, I forgot to mention this. The clouds can be that card of hiding, like, or someone thinks that they can't see clearly. That's one of the messages of the clouds in general is like hiding. The book is that too. Uh, those are the two cards that are about hiding something or something that's not easily seen or suspicion that it could be not again there's that confusion misunderstandings about money mm -hmm. so but again someone might be hiding money or basically when i say that it's like hiding expenses okay that's what i wanted to say uh, someone could be unsure about their job that's another message i'm getting here so if you are with someone someone's either unsure about their job or their business um this kind of gets in the way of this relationship this week anyway this is just weekly readings um another message i pick up is a lack of direction someone doesn't know what they want to do i'm not seeing a divorce or a breakup here either or someone doesn't feel oh yeah someone doesn't feel valued this week someone might be i don't want to label everyone as the martyr or the victim but some of you might either you feel this way it's okay to we all get like that sometimes right it doesn't make someone a narcissist all the time but sometimes we deal with those people where it's always about them it's never about you you know never and that's when it becomes a problem but i do see somebody here this week i don't know if it's you or your person there could be someone that just doesn't feel appreciated this week or they just don't feel valued and it may not be they're like this all the time but this week they're likely to be i don't know what's going on I'm not judging anybody just saying that that's what i see here um so just be careful. Uh, th there could be a lot of misunderstanding, or it could be a, like literally a lot of misunderstanding. So the fish isn't always about money. You know, it could be a lot of whatever card is next to it. So a lot of confusion, like what the hell is going on? Where are we going? You know, what are we doing? Or it could be about money. So, and again, that's very common with people that are not together and married. So I'm, um, you know, not surprised it showed up in that category. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it could be if it's, if it, so like I said, there could be a lot of misunderstandings that happen this week or because someone doesn't um, have all the facts or doesn't seem to have their shit together, basically. Um, also, there could be, sometimes this could be, this pair, I see this as hoarding issues or too much, there could just be too much clutter in the house. You guys, it might be just kind of like, we're <clears throat> trying to uh, move stuff around, okay? or just a lot of stuff that you guys need to get rid of, but you're like, what should we get rid of? So in some some ways, this may not be about the relationship itself. And no, I'm not sugarcoating. That's how Lenormand goes. This could literally be about things in the home, even though I don't have the house card, but as a collective. Um, so if none of these apply to you individually, and some of you might find all three of them applies to you, so it doesn't matter. But as a collective, I guess, like the main message I'm getting here is wishing for things to be stable but you, but some but here's the problem though somebody wants to connect with others but they keep pushing others away because they're insecure about their money so you might be dealing with a, of someone this week some of you that are dealing with someone that's very insecure about money or there's problem wishing for stability but um someone's overspending because this can be decorating the house if i'm looking at all these together if i wasn't using these as categories i could see this as a whole story playing through here it's, oh well honey i want to decorate the house or i want the house to look this way and the other person's upset about it because she's or he it could be a man not blaming this on women but we are known to want to decorate the house like crazy so it could be like hey I, you know where's all the money stop decorating the house overly too much <laughs> um <clears throat> that's probably gonna resonate for those of you that live with this person but if you don't live with them i'm kind of seeing this i want to spend time with this person but i don't but this person's thinking that okay they just don't like me but what it really is honey is that he just might not be or she might not be um very uh confident about their money or that work is getting into the way and this is causing the confusion because the other person's like well why are we going out this week or why aren't we hanging out this week and, it, and this it's because of this person's job or business that's getting in the way here okay so don't take it personally that's what i have for you libra i hope you enjoyed your reading and thank you for watching oh this video was a little bit longer almost 20 minutes seriously did i talk that long wow I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes 19 minutes. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, see you next week.